broadcasting live worldwide. Hello, everyone. This is Angel from Have Faith. Let it begin. Today is Friday, July 7th, 2023. I am still under the weather. So today, I thought it'd be a great way to end the week by giving you a little rewind episode about a crazy date story. I know you're going to enjoy it. So without further ado, I'll see you guys on Monday. Hopefully I'll feel better. Have faith. Let it begin. Rewind special. And it starts right now. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Hi, I am Mia. You are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hey, this is Freddie, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, my name is Angela, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Broadcasting live worldwide. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the live edition. Have faith, let it begin. Crazy date story number seven, the saga continues. Today's topic and title, Houston, we have a problem. June 25th, 2020. Oh, boy, this one's a doozy. Okay, so... Right around this time, uh, people are starting to catch wind that I'm on the dating uh, prowl, so to speak. And uh, people have been just referring to me, as you've been hearing over and over again. Well, during the course uh, of just having bad date after bad date, um, I was working as a server part-time um, for uh, TGIF Fridays. A lot of the people there knew who I was. Um, I went down as I used my last name as, as my um, server name, which was Santana. Uh, so everybody knew me. A lot of people were like, you know, where are you taking your dates and what's going on? And I was telling them the stories and they were like, wow, this is crazy. And one of the girls um, suggested um, that the next time you get a date, why don't you bring them here? We all know you and all the girls and all the guys will be like, hey, what's up, Santana? And then whoever your date is, we'll see how popular you are. You know, I'm sure they'll hook you up with maybe like a free dessert, etc. You know, I'm like, that's a great idea. Sorry, everybody, I had to take a drink there because my mouth was dry. Okay, so it came about that I ended up uh, meeting a girl, um, and she was actually, this is the this is a crazy part. She is now, where I, my primary job is was in sales, and um, the recruiter that was there had um, a daughter that was single, and um, she decided this is going to be a perfect date. Um, I've talked about you. She's seen what you look like. I remember seeing what she looked like when she came to pick up her mom. And I said, wow, you know, she's a beautiful girl. I remember making a comment a long time ago. So long story short, there was the referral. So um, we decided to meet up and um, we we spoke on the phone, set up the date. And uh, it was a good conversation. We kind of knew each other a little bit enough that it wasn't so uncomfortable. Um, I went to pick her up. Um, when I went to the house, the mother was excited, you know, because uh, she knows me. And when I picked her up, we decided to go to TGIF. And she was actually one of her favorite spots. So I said, great. And um, I said, you know, I, I just want you to know, I actually work there part time. She's like, oh, get out of here. And she thought it was pretty cool. So, so we get there. And sure enough, I show up with the date. I say, you know, you know, table for two or booth for two. And people 
already kind of knew that I was going there with my date. So when I arrived, people were like, oh, Santana, what's going on? Everybody's like, hey, oh, he's such a great guy, blah, blah, blah. You know, and everybody's just kind of like putting things together. And um, and she's like, wow, you know, you're pretty popular. I'm like, well, you know, you know how it is when you work at your job. Everybody knows who you are. So we go and we sit down and um, we're having a, you know, a good time. Now, let me just stop real quick with the story and give you a little backstory. Um, before I went on the date, the guys, all my, all my, my, my guy friends were, uh, having poker night and they were like, listen, you know, wish you luck, just be yourself. You know, if you have any problems, give us a call. And, uh, I said, yeah, no problem. And I said, I appreciate it. So, um, we get to the table now, now it's back to the story. We get to the table, the, um, um, we sit down and she excuses herself to use the restroom. Um, so, uh, she does and, um, as soon as she leaves, people are you know coming up to me. She's beautiful. She's awesome. Where'd you guys meet? Blah blah. blah. And I'm telling everybody. And I said, all right, all right. Let's not do too much. You know, let's let's get it. You know, get it. You know, things going on. And the manager walks by. He's like, yo, that's a good. That's a nice looking girl. Don't worry. I'm gonna take care of you guys. I was like, I was like, no, it's cool. I've got money and everything like that. So, um, the guys. I called the guys and I said, guys, I'm at TJF. Everything is good. They're like, good. You made it to the restaurant. I'm like, yeah, thanks. Nice. Very funny. Very funny. So we get to the restaurant. Everything is good. She comes back from the restroom. We order appetizers. We, um, we're having a good time, and uh, we started getting ready to order for a meal. And, um, you know, she had, she had said that she was having a good time, and um, we, were, we talked a lot during the appetizers, um, and the conversation flowed very well. Um, I made it a point to make sure I listened more rather than talk. So, you know, she was talking to me about her goals and her aspirations, and it, it was just a very... Uh, intellectual conversation. It was probably the best conversation I'd had at that point. Um, so, you know, everything is going well. She ordered a steak. Um, I ordered a meal. I, I don't honestly remember what I ordered. Probably a burger. Cause that's I was pickier back then. And, um, you know, they, they ordered the food. They brought us their salads. Um, as soon as she got done eating her salad, um, she excused herself. She goes, well, excuse me, before the meal comes, I'm just going to, you know, powder my nose. I said, sure, no problem. So she got up went to the uh, restroom and um i really quickly called my buddies and i said listen date's going really well i'm not going to call you i don't need to call you everything is good so i hang up and um you know the couple of the servers came over and said you know she's awesome you know nice looking girl i'm like thank you and um you know we we start I'm, i'm noticing that as i'm talking to other servers that time had passed uh you know like two or three minutes four minutes five minutes and I'm thinking and then all of a sudden I knew that there was something kind of off because the food arrived and I'm like "Mm," you know that's weird so one of the girls is like you know everything okay I'm like yeah yeah I'm just waiting for my date she's in the restroom Um, and then all of a sudden um, one of my servers that I'm really good friends with uh, was running food that day she's a food runner Um, she (laughs) <laughs> okay, so she comes down and she comes over to me and she asks to sit down. And I said, oh, sure. But, you know, well, you know, the girl's coming back soon. And she said, I said, okay, great, great. She goes, well, here's the thing. And she had like tears in her eyes. And I said, what's the matter? Um, is everything okay? Um, she goes, Angel, she says, your date just left. I said, I'm sorry. She goes, I went to the restroom because I was, you know, cleaning up and I overheard her saying that she was on her cell phone saying, please pick me up, please pick me up. And I said, come on, stop joking with me. She goes, no. She said that she just wasn't interested and she had somebody pick her up. She just left. She went out the back door. And I was stunned. I've never had somebody walk out on a date she went to the restroom and never came back. She went to the restroom and never came back. So, a couple of the servers. Now everybody who knew is wondering where the date went. Um, I asked for the bill. The manager comped the bill and gave me a free dessert. <laughs> um, it was very embarrassing. Extremely embarrassing. Um... Never been stood up before like that. I mean, well, I've been stood up, but I've never had somebody just walk out on a date. 
And I'll be honest with you, to this day, I still truly don't know where that date went sour. But it was so embarrassing because I just couldn't believe what had happened. So I'm sitting there, they're wrapping up my food, and one of the servers sits down next to me and says, I just want you to know something. She says, you're an amazing person. She says, I try my best to schedule myself to work on the nights that I know you're going to work. I'm like, oh, that's really nice of you. She goes, no, I don't think you get it. She goes, I have a crush on you. I said, excuse me? She goes, I've had a crush on you. And this is actually supposed to be my section. But when I found out you had a date, it was bothering me. She says, so I just couldn't serve you tonight. But I just want you to know, anytime you want to go on a date with me, I would be more than happy to take, a, take you out on a date. And I promise you, I'll never walk out on our date. And I was, what turned into a crazy situation, sad yet uplifting. Uh, not up, sad and just shocking became uplifting. And I'm going to stop real quick for a second and give a little bit of a, the lesson portion of this crazy date story. When you don't care or if you don't like somebody, if you're not showing any interest, it is in your best interest to be honest, be truthful, because that can hurt somebody. It could mess with somebody's psyche. It can put, of course, my, um, <laughs> my insecurity was already shot, but it was worse because now I'm thinking... Was it the way I looked? Was she embarrassed by being in my, my presence? What was it? And um, I'll never know what really happened. I can honestly say I've never truly, um, never truly found out why she never came back. Um, and if you notice, I didn't give her a name because I just didn't want to even make up a name because honestly, I just, I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember her name. I remember what happened. So back to the story at hand. The young girl that was a server broke that news to me, and it, it went from a sour night to, wow, I just lost a date, and I gained a date from somebody who I find is extremely awesome. What I didn't know was this next date was going to be our crazy date story number eight. That's right. The server who took it upon herself to let me know she had a crush on me and promised she would never walk out on my next date is now going to be our crazy date story number eight. And trust and believe, you're never going to believe what transpires on this date. It is unbelievable. Have faith. Let it begin.